Hello, this is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Welcome. Well, Sex in the City, Friends, the 90s, the 2020 fashion, all of the trends are trending toward the 90s. Remember that children's nursery rhyme. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Well, today I went shopping for the 2020 trends. I went to Zara, I went to Free People. And you know what? I really didn't want to buy anything. And I thought to myself, if you're happy with your closet, clap your hands. And I think I'm at the age where I'm happy with what I have in my closet. I love my vintage things. I love the things that I wore in the 90s and the 80s. I am so happy with what I have. I don't want to buy anything else and I'm not even tempted. Is that what happens when you get to be over 60 and just nothing seems to appeal to you anymore? Oh my gosh, I think it's happening to me. <laughs> what in the world? I really am happy with my closet. I don't need anything. I don't want anything. I just am happy with my closet and I'm clapping my hands. You know, whatever they say is what comes around goes around and that's so true. I can look into my closet and luckily even when I downsized I kept some of my vintage things, my older things. In the 1990s, I had a career and I was working. So I had a lot of pantsuits, a lot of outfits that I wore that were more dressy. I had gowns and things that I, you know, strappy shoes. I had all of that because I had a career, I had a life and I was working. But once we started coming down to Florida, my whole M.O. changed, you know, more casual things, tropical things, tropical outfits. Well, today, 2020 trends are going to be in all the runways are showing all of these things. And would you believe they are reminiscent of Sex in the City and of Friends and, and that era of the 90s. Now, today we're going to talk about hits and misses. You know, we're not you know, 40 years old again, or 35. So maybe we have to kind of look at these trends and think which one we we want to adopt. I mean, maybe we have some of these things in our closet and which ones we don't want to adopt at our mature age. All right, there are 12 things and I have a list here. So forgive me, I'm going to read off my list. All right, the first one is boyfriend shirts worn over a rolled neck or a turtleneck sweater. Well, I'm sure we all have that in our closet, but that is going to be a big thing for 2020. You're going to see a lot of white shirts with uh, turtleneck sweaters underneath and slacks or jeans. So that's one thing I think we can all wear. So that for us is a hit. It's not a miss. All right. The second one is vests. They're showing a lot of vests that you will be wearing, um, over shirts, over sweaters. You can wear them with slacks, skirts, jeans. So if you have an old man's vest or an old vest in your closet, pull it out because you're going to be so trendy in 2020 with that vest. And if you're like me, you might even be able to wear a tie with it. Now, I didn't bring any vests with me. I think I gave them all away. So for me, I'm out of luck unless I go buy one at Zara or someplace. I, I, I just don't have a vest. And maybe if I visit my daughter in Chicago, I can go to the thrift shop and find myself a vest. But that for us, would you say? I think that is a hit. I think we all can wear that. Okay, now the third one is, is, is shorts suits. S-H-O-R-T-S, shorts suits. And those are suits with shorts. And I mean shorts, not Bermuda shorts. I mean shorts. Well, if you are 
over 60 and you have the most gorgeous gams in the world that you don't mind showing off, well, that might be a hit for you. <laughs> but for me, um, and most of us probably, it's a miss. I'm going to let the young women wear those suits with shorts because that's just not my look. But as I say, if you've got great legs and you love showing them off, then maybe this trend is for you. But personally, for me, it's an eh, no, no way am I going to wear one of those short suits. But I'm sure a young girl walking down the street with beautiful, beautiful legs is going to look fantastic. All right. Uh, if you don't have a I don't give a hoot attitude, it might be able to be something that you can wear. The next one is uh, head to toe denim. Well, I've got that in my closet, and I really do like the look. I love the head to toe denim with a, with a nice scarf. Um, you can even wear, if it's chilly, you can wear a, a, a turtleneck under your denim shirt and your denim uh, jeans, and that is a really with a beautiful belt. Uh, a nice statement belt. That really is a classy look. A pair of sneakers or maybe a pair of flats or even boots. A beautiful pair of boots. And that is a really classic and nice look. And the next one we've talked about before and it keeps coming up. I swear to gosh, if you have a trench coat, you're going to be in trending till your last day on this planet <laughs> because trend co trench coats are always trending. So I would say for the denim look, it's a hit. And for trench coats, it's also a hit for those us of us mature ladies, ladies who um, really like to be in fashion. So the next one is <laughs> for me. It's a miss mini dress. Would you believe this maxi lady? <laughs> Uh, now is going to be so out of trend because many dresses are coming back. Just think of Jessica in Sex in the City and those cute little girls and friends, uh, Jennifer Aniston, that are running around in mini skirts. And as I said again, if you have gorgeous legs and you don't give a hoot what anybody thinks and you're comfortable in them, go for it. But for me and probably for a majority of the mature ladies, I'd say maybe it might be a miss, <laughs> a real miss. So that is the next one. Okay, and another one uh, that is I like and is very much, I think, for all of us, high-waisted jeans and cardigans. I love cardigans. I love cashmere sweaters, cashmere cardigans, uh, even short ones. You know, For me, it's okay because I, I more or less have an hourglass shape uh, and... And it's, they're really good if you're very thin, it's good. If you have a pear shape or an apple body, then a longer cardigan that hits you mid-thigh probably would be the best for you. But um, So I think for most of us, that would be a hit, a trending hit for us mature ladies in 2020. The next one is a tank top. Now... Unless you have really buff arms and you hit the gym every day and you're lifting weights, uh, I would say you could wear a tank top, but wear something over it, a kimono, uh, a jacket, something like that. But just to walk out with a tank top, if your arms are flapping in the wind, I don't think it's the greatest look for anyone. And I know with me, you know, my arms are not that bad, but I don't have confidence enough to go out in a tank top uh, showing uh, my bare arms because uh, until I start lifting weights every single day <laughs> that uh, I can build up a little bit of curvature in my arms. So, but again, you know, it's up to you. If, if you're confident enough to feel comfortable in that, then that's good. But for me personally, that kind of is a miss unless I wear it with a jacket. Okay, the next one. Do you have a baguette purse in your closet? Baguette purses with shoulder straps have come back. So look in your closet, get out that baguette purse, and wear it with pride because you'll be trending in 2020. Now, I have a small Prada bag 
uh, but it doesn't have a shoulder strap, but it kind of has a baguette shape. So I think it kind of qualifies. The only thing is with mine, it's so small. Now that we have cell phones and things, I really can't carry much in it. But if you have a good size baguette purse with a strap, you'll be trending in 2020 and could hop up on a runway and stroll down the runway and be right in fashion. The next thing is chain necklaces. I've got a lot of those. So chain necklaces are in. Uh, they're what they used to wear in the 90s. Chain necklaces of all lengths are in. So get out that chain necklace that's been hiding in your jewelry box for a while. Get it out and put it on with maybe uh, one of your turtlenecks or with your shirt that might be open with a regular collar and, and sh or a black dress. Wear off your, show off your chain necklaces, your vintage chain necklaces, because if you do, you'll be trending. All right, the other one, and so that's a hit. That's a hit for the rest, all of us. All of us can do that, no matter what. The next one is slip dresses. Yep, they're back. Slip dresses are back. Um, for me, it's a miss. I wouldn't wear a slip dress even if you paid me, even if they gave it to me for free, because it's just would not be so flattering for me at my age. But again, if you're very thin, you've got nice arms, and you're comfortable with going out in a slip dress, you could actually put in on a pretty kimono or a jacket over it, and that would be fine. So I guess, you know, it's a miss for me, but I could tolerate it if I styled it properly so that it would cover up the mature parts of me that I don't want to show. So I would say that's a miss, but it, it could kind of be a half of a hit if I styled it properly. And the next one, and I saw these in Zara the other day, baggy denim jeans are back. I think it might kind of be the throwback of the paper bag pants that we've been wearing this summer. Well, now the baggy jeans of the 90s are back. They're perfect for pear-shaped girls, for hourglass girls, but if you have an apple body, I would say it probably is a miss. You would look better with leggings in a long cardigan or a long top uh, or tight jeans with a longer top that is loose and flowing. You know your style, you know. So I would say baggy jeans might be a hit for a lot of us, but just depending upon your body type. So those are the hits and misses. Those are the 12 things that are going to be trending that they're showing on the runways uh, in New York and in Paris and Milan in 2020. Now that's not including all the wild uh, designer things that they show that, you know, we'll never see or never be able to wear or maybe would never wear. But these are just the common everyday trends that we can adopt if we want to feel trending in 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's so nice to have you along with me. Do something great for yourself today. Be kind to whomever crosses your path. And don't forget to share the love and please prayers for those families in Australia who are fighting the bushfires and all of the little animals that are suffering. Take care. I love you and I hope to see you in my next video.